kingdom of heaven that the scripture talks about and the kingdom of God. Okay? Let me just tell you that the kingdom of God, and this is a, a quick difference, the kingdom of God, the scripture said, is within us. That's the kingdom of God. The kingdom is righteousness, it is peace, and it is joy in the Holy Ghost. But Yeshua told, oh, the kingdom of God is within you. Okay? And we'll talk about some of those characteristics. We'll have to wait until next week. But um, let me just say the kingdom of heaven, that's different. The kingdom of heaven is a place. Hallelujah. It's a place. The kingdom of the God of heaven is within you. Okay, do y'all see the difference there? Uh, the kingdom of heaven, this is the place where Yah rules from. <coughs> the almighty, everlasting, from everlasting to everlasting, he reigns from heaven. Okay, so when they talk, and, and as I was studying this, I noticed that in the book of Matthew, Matthew, who, this was the gospel to the Jews in particular, Matthew talked a whole lot about the kingdom of heaven. Whole lot. Then when you go to Luke, he talked a whole lot, almost exclusively about the kingdom of God. I thought that was real interesting. Um, but in Matthew, you find that it, where Yeshua was, from his perspective, he was talking about up here. From Luke's per perspective, he'd already got the revelation that is in here. Okay? But uh, the kingdom of, is where God rules from. It's a place. It's a place. Okay? Number two, the kingdom of heaven is where all decisions are made concern, concerning the universe. That's concerning things that we don't even, we don't even think about. Um, I, I've seen recently a, a man that has been selling property uh, real estate on the moon huh. and people are bought I mean he's become a billionaire wow. selling you know because we're trying to go to the moon and he got legal ownership of the moon and I'm going how are you going to get the and I'm going God will go Poof, and the moon will be over there the moon is not yours but he's a billionaire selling property so when we start flying up there when Virgin uh, the leader of Virgin America, Virgin International, starts because he got a spaceship that's going there. You know, they already have where they're going to build their hotels, and, and I'm going, y'all are so crazy. I said, they don't know that the moon is for God's signs okay. and for his season. I'm going, you build a hotel up there if you want to. But I just think that he was the one who had presence of mind enough to say, I, I want to get the papers to show that I own the moon. He got the papers, and people are buying from him lots on the moon. And I say, y'all are crazy, because it is the kingdom of heaven that rules the moon. And all, everything out there, including the earth, all decisions are, are made from the kingdom of heaven. I don't even remember this guy's name, but I'm going, you have no decision power on the moon. You know. God gave you the earth. He did not give you the moon. So, hallelujah. But all decisions for the universe are made in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Also, the kingdom of heaven must be revealed to us. It must be declared unto us. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what Yeshua did. That's what uh, John the Baptist, he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And when they chopped off John's head, Yeshua, he took it up. He said, the king, in, matter of fact, in Matthew, if you look at Matthew, everywhere that, that the disciples, they were going, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Y'all better turn. Because the, the kingdom of heaven met earth in Yeshua. Do y'all hear what, 
what the word is saying. And if you will look in the book of Matthew, Yeshua tries to explain to them, reveal to them about the kingdom. Because he would say the kingdom of heaven is like a man sent his son. Look, father sent his son. You know, and the people didn't want the son to rule over them. And he gives all these parables and he goes, and the kingdom of heaven is like this. He's trying to tell them what the positioning is is so the kingdom of heaven it has to be revealed to you it must be proclaimed because if we don't get a revelation and that's why the holy spirit has been saying push the people push them past the natural push them into the spiritual Amen. because if it's not preached you don't even know it let alone have it revealed to you okay but he said it's got to be declared, and then once it's declared, after today, y'all better be decreeing it. When you say, I decree, you better pull something down from heaven. Because Father said, uh, the Word said, that Father has given us all things. All things. Matter of fact, one of my text scriptures that I jumped over is Luke 12 and 32, where it says, it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He's a good daddy. And he's not trying to keep nothing from you. But it operates in a certain way. That's why Yeshua said pray this way. As it is in heaven. Decree it down on earth. This is your dominion. This earth is your dominion. You have to find out what, what has been bought for you. What has been paid for you. What has been already, is already given to you. Can y'all hear what the Spirit is saying? I hear. But then you have to pull it down. You have to pull it down. It's not going to just, the angels are not just going to, because they only move at the voice of His Word. They only. That's why Yeshua could say, Behold, whole of your sickness, of your infirmity, of whatever, because there is no infirmity in heaven. Amen. So he called it down. He called it down. And he said, you go in my name and you call it down too. <laughs> because he said, cast out that, there ain't no fight. If you see devil, cast him out of the way. If you see darkness and and I think I gave you the definition a couple weeks ago of darkness. That's misery, poverty, fear. That's darkness. How many know that if it was dark in here and you flipped on the light switch, darkness has to flee. Mm -hmm. If you come up on darkness, remove it. Basham Yeshua in the name. Now, it is real hard for darkness to cast out darkness. That's why he said, there's no darkness in me. There's no devil in me. Yeshua said, he said, you, you think that I'm casting out my, he said, I don't, I don't have a devil. He said, now y'all on the other hand, y'all might. Because you can't do nothing. Okay? But it has to be de decreed. Before things take place on this earth, somebody's got to open their mouth. You didn't even get saved and receive Messiah until you opened your mouth. Till you open your mouth. There was, I said a couple of weeks ago, the things that you do with your hand, that's just it. It's the work of your hand. The things that come out of your mouth, that's your work of faith. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people, they, they can tithe, but they don't believe nothing, and their words contradict the scripture. <clears throat> That's why the seed is rooted up. The offering, they only get a, a small part because they curse their own ground with their mouth. Because they're doing the ritual of, of, of giving, or the ritual of helping the poor, or the ritual and then they don't believe anything, and you know they don't believe anything by the words that come out of their mouth. Y'all hear that? Amen. Okay. So, hallelujah. Our time is up. Next week, um, we'll continue on, and we'll continue on, and, and we'll talk about some of the characteristics of the kingdom of God, because the kingdom of God is within us. We carry it. 
So even when we walk into darkness, we are carrying in the kingdom. That's why he said, don't be conformed to what you're walking into, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you might know what is the perfect will of the Father. Because we are representatives of his kingdom. Good rep or bad rep, we are rep of the kingdom. Okay? So, hallelujah. Father God, I thank you that yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, and yours is the glory. Forever. And forever and ever to the end of the universe, of every universe. I rebuke every spirit in here that has anything to do with darkness. Amen. You you have no place in this, this temple of light. You, you have no place here. Holy Spirit, I, I, we yield to you. We yield to your will and to your way and to your voice in this house. Yes. We yield to any demonstration you want to give today. Not only in this house, but Monday through Friday, Father God, we yield to your spirit. And we give you all the praise and all the glory because it's not by our might and it's not by our power, but it is only by the spirit of the living God. Amen. In the name of Yeshua, we decree it is so. It is so. Amen. It is so. Amen. It is so. Amen. Amen.